Hello there, folks. It's Joe Wazoo here today. I'm uh, just going to do a quick video. Uh, I got an application where I got a customer that uh, has multiple PID cards in a Redline HMI. And uh, I've got a pre built database here where I have taken the liberty of mapping or creating tags for all the variables for a PID card. And my pre built database uh, basically consists of just one module. So I go down here to modules. I just have one PID card. Well, what I want to do here is I want to take, I want to create a bunch of tags for PID2 uh, in this application. So I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, well, I could, I could go here and I could add another PID card like this, create another PID1 channel like right there. And I was going to go here. And if you notice, I'll call this one PID underscore two. Whoops. I'm going to try to follow the same format. And then I was thinking, uh, go over here, and I thought, well, I could copy this folder, and then I could just paste like that. But the problem is, all of these tags in here are linked to PID1. If I wanted to convert all of them to PID2, I would have to go through and basically convert every one of them to PID2. And so then I thought, well, I could go to data tags up here, export the tags to Excel, and then do a big file swap there and re-import. And that, that turned out to be a lot of work as well. So then I got to thinking, wait a minute. In Crimson, you can have multiple versions of Crimson open at the same time. So then I thought, wait, I could change the name of it in another database, copy the folder over to the existing one, and all would be good. So let's see if this works. So I'm going to delete this one from here. Just leave that alone. I will keep this existing database with PID2 here in this slot. But I'm going to go ahead and open up this same database I have open again. So I'll go over here, and I'll just go ahead and double-click on that same uh, program or same database here. And watch this trick. If I go down here, so I'll make this a little taller here so we can see it. If I click right here, I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm going to rename this slice. I'm going to rename this slice right here. I'm going to call this one PID2. Okay. Now, if I go over here to tag, data tags, you'll see, and I'm going to rename this folder this time, PID2, right there. And you'll see some flickering because Crimson's updating. So if I go in here now, look, if I click on any of them, doesn't matter which one I click on, they're all looking at that name. That's what I want. So here's my trick. I'll collapse these trees. And I'm going to copy this folder. I'm going to copy this folder from this database. And then I'll click on the other Crimson database right here, this guy right here. If I go over to Data Tags over here, I'll click up on the top here, and I'll right-click and paste. goes through and paste, and look what it did. It automatically copied all of those tags, and now these are all looking at PID2 like I want. And if I collapse this tree, and this is still looking at PID1. Perfect. What an easy way to uh, basically remap all of my tags to a different... Uh, to a different module, so uh, that's pretty sweet. The catch to it is uh, I already had to have the module over here with the name PID first, PID2 already in here, and then when I copy those tags over, it automatically linked them up. Now, one thing I always do in Crimson when I do that kind of a extensive uh, rebuild is I always go to File, go to Utilities, and I always do a Recompile Database, and then I also go File, Utilities again, and Recompile Com Blocks. Anyway, so now my database has the folders to look at multiple cards. I just thought I would share that snippet. I think it's a really cool idea. Anyway, have a great day, folks. We'll see you all later.